introductions. Here is Bruce Buffer. Senoras e senhoras do Brasil, bem-vindos! Ladies and gentlemen, we are live from the Junessi Arena in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, for UFC 283, Teixeira versus Hill. And now, this fight is three rounds in the UFC Light Heavyweight Division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a big martial artist holding a professional record. 19 wins, seven losses. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Dublin Island by way of Rio das Ostras, Brazil, Johnny Walker. And now introducing his opponent, Fighting out of the red corner, a mixed martial artist holding a professional record. 16 wins, five losses, one draw. He stands six feet three and one half inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Cobridge, Scotland, presenting the number nine ranked light heavyweight contender in the world, Paul Berju. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Mark Goddard. I didn't know these guys didn't like each other that much. They're in each other's face. Paul Craig loves a good stare <laughs> down, does he not? Yeah, he does. Jenny Andrade, thank you, dear. Tonight's fight clock is brought to you by Timex, official timekeeper of UFC. Timex watches have taken a licking and keep on ticking since 1854. Available on Timex.com. Johnny Walker in green, Paul Craig is in blue. So much has been made of Paul Craig's new striking coach, James Doolin, trying to sort of bridge the gap with his ground skills. But Craig has a lot of confidence in his striking as well. Made a nice leg kick early from Johnny Walker. Walker has trained all over the world. SBG Ireland, of course, AKA Thailand, TriStar, ATT Moscow, always in search of knowledge. So Paul Craig comes in here tonight as the only man to beat Magomed Ankalaev and Jamal Hill. So a win for him tonight would have him factoring prominently in this light heavyweight equation the rest of the way in 2023. Well, yeah, you knew when he beat Jamal Hill that that was going to age very well for him and Magomed and Goliath. Looking back now, you think, man, if Paul Craig can just put a few together, yeah. then you got to put him in line with those types of fights again. Scotland has never had a UFC champion. Walker jabs on the way out. 90 seconds gone by round one. Yeah, he's showing a lot of patience, willing to just sit out on the outside right now and chop that leg. It'll be on Craig to force a little more action, though, especially if he hopes to get this fight to the ground. He will not just shoot an open shot to take Johnny Walker down. He's going to have to get him to finish his hands, and then they'll level change to get to the hips and take him down. Yeah, and you've got to put something in front of it like you're talking about, DC, or you're going to eat a nice knee sandwich. UFC 283 brought to you by Crypto.com, the fastest growing crypto platform in the world. Download now. But Walker's okay with this. He'll fight you like this for 15 minutes. Pick you apart. Oh! does that after breaking his shoulder like that. Johnny Walker wow. experiencing a moment that every Brazilian fighter dreams of. Have a night, young man. But John, to do that with his leg up in the air, leg up in the air, he lands a shot that hurts Paul Craig. He's so powerful and he's so explosive. And we knew that coming in here, that he just had to wait and be patient and he waited for the perfect opportunity. And it was a weird one where he's got his leg up, but he's just, if he can touch your chin, that's the kind of power that he has. Let's take a look at this replay. Catches the kick. You know, there was a solid right hand. 
That's the beginning of the end there. Paul trying to work through it. Oh. That right hand gets through too, and then these hammer fists just straight on the face. You see Paul Craig covering up there. These are all right to the side of the head, off the ear. I mean, unbelievable. That's the kind of power. Look at that. Paul Craig has got to learn to work a little quicker in those types of situations when you're fighting somebody as dangerous oh. as Johnny Walker. Unbelievable. Outstanding Quick accuracy start. for Johnny Walker making all of those shots count. And eventually, the great Mark Goddard had no choice but to intervene. Johnny Walker, fairly popular around these parts, and that highlight not going to hurt matters as far as that is concerned. Johnny Walker going to be in the top 10 next week. And Paul Craig about as respectful as it gets. Oh, man, that's how he fights. He goes out there to either take you out or yeah. be taken out. All right, the official decision is brought to you by Universal Pictures' Knock at the Cabin, only in theaters, February 3rd. Here's Bruce. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mark Goddard's called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 16 seconds of the very first round. Declare the winner by TKO Johnny!